Hello there. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a saber or whatever you wanna call it, GFX. So without a further ado, let's get rolling. If you don't know what is a saber type GFX, here's some examples of it. Okay, so, these are the softwares you need to have. Blender or Cinema 4D, and, Adobe After Effects. If you don't have After Effects, you can use Photoshop, or, Paint.net. But I don't know how, lol. Let's begin. First, open up your rendering software. In my case, I'm just gonna use Cinema 4D. Then you wanna import your model. Now, go ahead and apply the textures. Then, import the bones. Now apply the bones to the model, and don't forget to subdivide the model three times. Okay, so, after you done that, go ahead and pose the model whatever you like it to look like. Now, you wanted to add a cube. Now, scale it up until you think that's enough. Now, go import some good materials from a material pack library you have. Now, go ahead and pick one good material for the cube or floor, such as rocks, irons, or whatever you want. Import the Lightroom. I'm just gonna use Sinkle as Lightroom, because, why not, right? Then, import the lights, and change the color to whatever you want. Add some sky presets if needed. Go to the render settings, and change the renderer from standard and at a physical render. Go to physical settings and check the depth of field option. Now, go add a camera. Set the focus object option to the model. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't forget to add ambient occlusion and global illumination effect in the render settings. Now go ahead and render it. Okay, now it's time for editing, so let's begin. First, open up After Effects. And now, import the finished render. Then drag it to the timeline. Right click on the timeline, and pick solid color. Oh yeah, make sure the color is completely black. Now search for Saber in the Effects tab, if you can't find it, go download and install it. Now drag it to the black solid. 
now make it invisible by doing this, and apply the pen or mask tool, while selecting the black solid. Now make a mask on the outside of the avatar, ok. After you done that, go to the saber settings. Go to customize core, and change the core type from saber to layer mask. Then make the solid visible. Change the saber type to whatever you want, but match the color to the light of the render. Now select the type tool, and pick your favorite font. Type the name of the avatar or model, I'm just gonna name it, Kyle. Go to the effects tab and search glow. Then drag it to the text. Change the A and B color to the light of the render. Now duplicate the black solid that contained the saber effect in it, by holding CTRL and press D. In the second solid, change the core type from layer mask to text layer. Right click on the timeline, new, and adjustment layer. Go to the effects tab and search Gaussian Blur. Then drag it to the adjustment layer. Set the blurriness to around 5. Alright, I'm back from the death. Make a new solid, and change the color to the light of the render. Go to the effects tab and search for CC Starburst. Drag it to the latest solid. Hold Ctrl and Alt and press S. Then change the format to PNG. Save it somewhere. Then render it. The result should look like something like this.